Let's see how to solve the exponential equation. So a equals two q, so to the power of x plus four equals two squared to the power of x plus two to the power of x equals 14. Now, according to exponential rule, we can write this one as two to the power of x and then q plus two to the power of x squared plus two to the power of x and then minus 14 equals zero. To make this equation look simpler, so we do a substitution, t equals two to the power of x. So we get a cubic equation, t cubed plus t squared plus t minus 14 equals zero. To factor the left side, we need to find a zero. Let's try using integer zero theorem. If t equals one, one plus one plus one, three minus 14, not good. But if t equals two, so two q plus two, uh, two, two square, yeah, plus two minus 14, eight plus four, 12 plus two, 14 minus 14 equals zero. That means this polynomial t cubed plus t squared plus t minus 14 can be factored as t minus 2 times another factor. In order to figure out this one, we use long division. Let's go. So put that as t cubed plus t squared plus t minus 14 divided by t minus two. Put t square, so we get t q minus t, uh, two t square. Subtraction, so we get three t square, and then put the t down. So we can put three t, so we get three times t, so three t square minus six t. Subtraction again, so we get seven t minus 14 good we can put seven here so the 70 minus 14 equals zero that means this factor is t squared plus 3t plus seven so the given equation becomes the product equals zero right so we get either t minus two equals zero, or t squared plus three t plus seven equals zero. If t minus two equals zero, so we get t equals two. For the second equation, because the discriminant delta equals b squared, which is three squared minus four a, which is one, c, which is seven, equals 9 minus 28 equal negative 19 less than 0. So that means the equation doesn't have real solution. So no real solution. So the only real solution for t is 2. Now we can get back to x. 2 to the power x equals t, but t equals 2. We can write 2 as 2 to 1. Same base, so same exponent. So we get x equals one. That is the only real solution for the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.